we go here at the stadium of line, Sunderland will do the honours of kicking off this second half. The score is Sunderland nil, Manchester United nil. It has been a pretty even affair. Manchester United starting the brighter, but Sunderland ending the brighter. But uh, Manchester United still probably the most likely to score. That was the case against Swansea for most of the game. But they didn't score until the 90th minute when Aaron Hamwood, after missing a penalty initially, scored the goal that gave United three points. Here's Lingard. Anazai was going forward. Everyone's trying to get it forward to Ganazai. He's definitely got some forward poise about him in this game. And he is seeing Ian Henwood. This will be interesting. Because Henwood doesn't give a chase up. Chelsea have scored. It's a Baker goal against Leicester. And the last guy. I couldn't quite read who the score was, but Chelsea have definitely taken a new uh, a 2 0 lead against Leicester City. Referee decides to play advantage for United here, Manchester United. And here's Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard keeps the ball nicely. Goes over the cross. And it doesn't end up with Rooney. And now Stephen Fletcher. Now this will be a test for the United defenders because there's not a lot back there. But Stephen Fletcher is going by himself. Hummels missed times. Jones gets side moved and oh. And uh could there have been a foul by Reese James there, but David De Gea does gather it. Referee uh, play on, but um, Sunderland could have had a case for a penalty. And there's like a Jesse Lingard. And uh, Lingard's not that strong enough yet. But it was a good effort. Jesse Lingard, he'll get stronger. It's a nice back heel by, I think it was Herrera to Carrick. Lingard again. Lingard is really up for this as well. There's the Anazai. And as I was brought down, no foul given. And uh, Sunderland finally clear it, but Manchester United certainly looking amongst the goals here. Just not getting through the final the final touches. Carrick to Lingard. Wayne Rooney. Yanazai. Manchester United trying to be patient. Yanazai with another crunching tackle towards him. Michael Carrick trying to force. Mark is out wide there. It's good defending this by Sunderland. They're not really giving Manchester United a way through. And another throw in. But Manchester United suddenly having much more of the ball. Sunderland travelled to Loftus Road to battle Queen's Park Rangers. I think they was we lost it. Here's Lingard again. Oh, he's left gear seeing me on the ground sliding. And then Jesse Lingard gets her. That's a bad tackle. That should be a foul. Uh, but the referee decides not to give it. Now Hummels is up against Giacini here. And that's a bad touch by Giacini. But Hummels is immediately dispossessed. And now Manchester United are left with one defender down in the box. Hummels comes out. Hector tries to turn and shoot. Great block by Jones. And David De Gea just about coming up with that. Here is Jones from Manchester United, and now he gets it, uh, gets it himself and misses the tackle from Rodwell. He has to pass in. Can't really use jurisdiction. Great move by uh, Phil Jones, but thinking. And Hemwood. And Hemwood trips a little bit. He just tries to play advantage, and uh, he's going to come over. And he's going to have a word, it looks like. Well, Ashley Williams conceded the penalty that Aaron Hemwood did uh, give in the team. And Ashley Williams was booked. Not really much in that one, though. So Manchester United have a free kick. It's going to be Wayne Rooney, I think. And we'll take it. This is his sort of range. He scored from here before. Here he comes. And they hit the bar, I think, against Swansea with a free kick. His bird cut for Sunderland. Now he's got a long way to run here. And he runs into Reese James and he actually gets the ball back off Reese James. But look at James back in. And Burkhardt still got it against Reese James. What a battle here. Good back heel from Burkhardt. Great sense of uh, awareness there. But again, Manchester United so calm and collected. And here's Adnan and Yanazai, who deserves a goal right now. Yanazai's in the box. Yanazai fights through. It is a goal. 
And Jan Janazai scores. It was coming. Manchester United had definitely been the better team. And Jan Janazai gets his first goal of the season. The first of many, let's hope. Great twist and turn. Great body control to shrug off the challenge. Coolly slots it past the Sunderland goalkeeper. No chance. And Jan Janazai scores. Manchester United take the lead. It's starting to feel like the good old days again. And then Jan Janazai scores and David Gea is of course delighted his team have played well it's almost beginning to like the feel like the good old days and Adi Anjanazai is definitely definitely a man on fire right now man in such form after last season such a stellar last season as Alcaraz comes on for Stephen Fletcher that's a Sunderland substitution made by Gus Poyet whose team are now behind to an Adi Anjanazai goal it was well deserved there's Herrera, he's had a decent debut couple of games. Herrera did really well against Swansea. Lingard is uh, going straight out, Herrera is going straight out to Berka here. And he was virginal. And a great way to keep it in. But Rhys James again. Rhys James has been outstanding so far. Here he comes. Reese James is going to try and go for a goal. I think he was, but he was stumped by Virgil. And there's Giacini. Meets up with Johnny Evans again. And there's the Jones for Sunderland. Catamon. I haven't really seen a lot of in this game. Van Unholt. Is it with Phil Jones again? Jones on another piece of great defending. I have to say, Hummels in the centre of defence for Manchester United has definitely made a difference. Lingard tried to poke it through to Henwood, but it wasn't going. Catamol stopped it. Birds cut for Sunderland. Here is Jones. Jones with a bit more space than he thought. Sidesteps uh, Evans. And still going. Manchester United once again. Turning their lines and Aaron Hamburg, that was a pretty good kick. And desperation mainly, but he's going to do easy things, I guess. He's Van Hol Holt again for Sunderland. They're coming forward a bit more now. Aston Villa have pulled a goal back against Newcastle. Charles and Zobby at Villa Park. Oh, that's a great turn from Alvarez. Great save by David De Gea. That, that was a great flick by Alvarez to give himself some space. David De Gea, good save. Manchester United and David De Gea in particular are playing ever so well right now. There's 15 minutes to go in this second half, but Sunderland are starting to get back into it a little bit. They did this at the end of the first half. Fortunately, it didn't come to much, but now they're starting to get a foothold in the game. Adam Johnson with the corner. He's taking it short to Virgil, who meets up with uh, Johnny Evans again. Another corner, that. Johnny Evans has had a bit of a haircut, by the looks of it. <laughs> and Hummels is congratulating him on a good effort. What Manchester United need in the centre of defence right now, a leader. Hummels is uh, fitting the bill. Johnson with another corner. It's gone over Hummels. Ends up with another stelling play from Reese James and a brilliant pass from Reese James and a brilliant piece of skill from Wayne Rooney. Manchester United with Wayne Rooney on the break. He's got to score. Oh, and he's actually tackled. What a great tackle, but is he hurt? Wayne Rooney's down. Van Holt and Sutherland keep playing. Some of the Manchester United fans aren't happy with it. Rooney is straight back up. What a blasted challenge from Sutherland. It was a good one. You have to give Sutherland the defender credit there. Great tackle. Stopping an inform and in bursts Wayne Rooney. That is not easy to do. Hummels to Phil Jones. Hummels has been calm and collected down there and it's rubbing off the rest of the team. That's a great move by Lingard. And look who's there. Look who's there again, Aaron Henwood. He wants another one. He does not want a barren streak the last half a season. Henwood decides to pass. Unfortunately, it's wayward. Manchester United playing sparkling football at the moment. Brilliant stuff. And then as I marked his uh, second game as the number 11 in the Premier League for Manchester United, at least with a goal. And with uh, Herrera. I have to say that Henwood's normally a chemistry-forming guy, but... He's settled with his new 
uh, play your teammates uh, very well as Wayne Rooney gets into a bit of an altercation there with his uh, Rodwell. And uh, Rodwell is actually going to be booked for the challenge, I believe, by the referee. And Wayne Rooney did a little bit of a stopping and starting there, and Rodwell obviously wasn't too pleased with that. Uh, the bad news is he got in the book for that. Wayne Rooney wasn't too pleased with that either. I know Rooney can be a bit hot-headed sometimes, but he kept his cool and composure there. So I'm going to give Rooney credit. Rooney is doing another three kick. Here he comes. And it's going to be over, unfortunately. Well, you can't score them all. I mean, Wayne Rooney did score that stunning free kick on his debut against Fernabaje. In a hat-trick, I think it was, too. But uh, unfortunately, that one is over the bar. Manchester United is sporting a new kit this season, a new third kit. A blue, and it's rather nice. Aaron Hedwood loves it. As his favourite colour is blue, that'd be strikingly obvious, I guess. <laughs> it's Alvarez for Sunderland. With about six minutes left on the game clock, plus added time. Here's Van Althor. And Michael Carrick is there. Michael Carrick showing the ball and then giving the way for Alvarez. Lingard has worked hard in this game, Jesse Lingard. And good effort. Herrera. Herrera tries a shot, saved by the keeper. And uh, given away by Sunderland. Manchester United have been all over their opponents today. Sunderland they have had bright sparks, but Manchester United have the goal, and that's important. The most important thing at the end of the day is Herrera. He to bring that under control. But they you know, still have the ball with the throw in, and they still have a ball. It's another throw in. So Lingard finally throws it out. The header is mistimed, and Phil Jones comes up with it. There's not a lot he can do. Carry. And uh, it was a block in the end. Evans up against Virgin here. Virginie. And there's Reese James again. These James have been all over the pitch this afternoon. And Manchester United have benefited from it. Oh, it's wide open. He's offside. I thought he was. He looked way too open to me, the striker. And that is way offside. That is great play by Mattis Hummels. That's fantastic play. He knew he was going to do that. He read that so well. Mattis Hummels is a perfect signing for Manchester United. But like we said, Manchester United are not done in the transfer window yet. As De Gea is going to was planning to him to pick that up with five minutes left at the end of the second half. I guess the five minutes in the end of the first was the injury to John O'Shea. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Um, Rodwell is complaining at Aaron Henwood for something. He's offside, that's why. Not that uh, someone had the ball in any way. I think they could have continued playing. Johnny Evans to Andrew Herrera. Lingard. Lingard has been really pushing this game. He's really done well. And the clash of players, no penalty. It's not a penalty that time. Clampton hasn't had a lot to do, but he has conceded the one goal. He has made a couple of good saves, though. Manchester United again just by the one goal to nil, but it'll be three points, and that's all Manchester United will care about, considering last season. United are pretty much parking the bus. Defenders all over Virginal. Van Orhoort. And uh, the referee is going to signal Van Orhoort offside. It's been Sunderland's problem in this game. They've been more offside a lot in this game. Manchester United's uh, line of defence has caught Sunderland offside plenty of times. It is a risky, it is a risky game to play in the offside trap, but Manchester United have done well today. I'm just going to just bomb it forward. And it works as Manchester United win game two under Louis van Gaal. It's only by one goal to nil again, but it's a goal that will give Manchester United three points in the league table. And that is all that matters. Adrian Yanazai adding to the scoring. One nil again to Manchester United. Adrian Yanazai makes it Sunderland nil. Manchester United won. Another three points on the board for Louis van Gaal. Let's have a look at the other fixtures of the day. Aston Villa lose 3-1 to Newcastle United at Villa Park. 
Chelsea beat Leicester City 2-1 at Stamford Bridge. At Selhurst Park, it was 1-1 between Crystal Palace and West Ham United. Hull City lose at the KC Stadium to Stoke City 2-0. Manchester City in a shock loss to Liverpool by two goals to one at the Etihad Stadium. Southampton and West Brom was a 0-0 draw. Manchester United, of course, beat Sunderland. And Swansea City bouncing back from their loss to Manchester United with a 3-0 thumping of New Boys Burnley. Meaning for the league table, this is how it looks now. Liverpool on 6 points with Chelsea and Manchester United. Arsenal on 3 points with Swansea City. Spurs on 3 points, as are Newcastle, Everton. There's a lot of teams on 3 points. And uh, QPR, Leicester and Burnley in the relegation zone and yet to get off the mark.